The city's arts and humanities division decided to do a new public art project that combined literacy and public art in five new little library boxes that we wanted to put in areas of the city that were outside of the historic district in the downtown where a lot of little libraries were already located uh, into areas where there was a greater need uh, for books. A lot of the times people don't see authors' faces, so I thought it would be great to represent them in like their portraits as uh, an idea for the boxes. She came to me already with sort of a loose idea and then we sat down at a coffee shop and made a list of all of the femme authors that have influenced us. And then from there we kind of whittled it down and copied and pasted and figured out the final five. A lot of us, we live nearby, just up the street, and we can just come down here. I also really like it. I enjoy it because um, it's right next to the park, and sometimes me and my friends will jog down here or walk down here and just hang out, and then I can pick up a book after. Representing women of color and uh, also uh, Virginia Woolf, who is also a lesbian author, it was extremely important because uh, they're just underrepresented in the community and undervalued most of the time. And that's who we wanted to show. We only had an option for, for five libraries, so we tried to pick a diverse group of authors. I think public art is really important in the community, and especially this sort of project where it brings together so many of our goals as a city. It's an opportunity to reach out to children, to families, it addresses our racial equity concerns and helps to bring voice to some new authors that people might not have uh, so much familiarity with. It also um, is a chance for people to see public art in their everyday lives, in their neighborhoods, right outside of their front doors. And that's really special, I think.